we are in the Eid. This is such a, a holy night. It's one of the very holy nights. And inshallah, our zikr will embody that specialness of this night. So I, I think um, oh, what I also want to say was that this is the passing date of Hazreti Pir. Mashallah, rahmatullah uh, No, yes, he passed on Arafat. He was born on the birthday of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, um, and he passed on, on the day of Arafat. So his light, I always see his light as, as kind of merged with, you know, the great light. It's really the nur on ala nur. So that's why we hardly ever uh, remember having like a special feast day for his worse or his birth because in a way he um he's so merged with um with the birthday of the prophet and then with the passing day on arafat but we should so i'd like to dedicate the zikr to him and um to his community and uh inshallah to to honor him so we have one Allahi that's also uh, to, to, in his name, sung for him. And inshallah, may we have a beautiful zikr. So, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Wow. Mashallah. What a beautiful zikr. Thank you so much. This was so, so, so wonderful. So wonderful. Alhamdulillah. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, we have the entire creation in our heart, and so we're both that we have Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa both within and without, but we have the universe within. So each of us is, in that sense, the, the prophet of their own inner being. Each, each is the prophet within himself. And, um, you know, we've, we've heard the word, of course, and, and we've heard the word inwardly and for eternity. And then we've, in a sense, forgotten it through the seven levels of darkness uh, wrapped, that we're wrapped in. And I mean, not everyone has, but many of us have. And and then we we hear that word, or we take that hand, and uh, and then it's 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 all back. <laughs> it's like we're we're back. And then you know, begins that journey to be completely fused into that. So uh, not just the spirit, but the, the soul, the body, the mind, and all the cells be completely uh, in harmony and resonance with, with, with that word of la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And so how we are in ourself in every moment is the most important, you know, how how we what, breath, each breath, each thought, each intention, each response in ourself to, you know, the flashes of, of events uh, around us, outside us, seemingly far, none of them are far, it's all really within. So, uh, it's really given us to establish that perfect community within ourself. And the, the, the Ekhli Beit, the, that community of love. And, and then once this is, is, is settled, once the victory of love is, is there, then it just, you know, permeates everything we do in our lives and, and beyond even the physical, beyond uh, even people we don't know, or creatures, or just this universe is filled with light from, from, from each of us. So 
Alhamdulillah. What a great responsibility. And each one has Arafat in ourself. And of course, and we also have the, the rebel in ourselves. So, But if we recognize who we truly are, then it makes that, that journey, that struggle, uh, so much easier. So much easier. And um, if we have good companions, and loving companions who, who support us and makes it so much easier. If we have the heart of the mystic body supporting us, it makes it even possible. I mean, this is my understanding today, you know, after some years of being in the tarikat, I, I, I don't see how any of this can happen without the community. I mean, we could, can happen with one sheikh, one dervish, but um, that's usually rare. <laughs> I mean, it, has, it does exist, and there are wonderful stories with one sheikh, one dervish. <laughs> but Musa Farafendi attracted hundreds and <laughs> thousands of dervishes, so <laughs> that one dervish multiplied many, many, many times. So here we are in his community. Alhamdulillah, and, and, and now we have the Eid upon us. We've had this momentous standing wakaf of uh, Arafat, the standing at Arafat to receive the downpour, the downpour of divine mercy, and, and, um, and now going into this, this night and coming out with celebration for, for the Prophet Abraham, and that we don't have to you know, he didn't have to sacrifice his son. And um, you know, but of course immediately I think of those who, who lose children and that is, um, you know, that's such a mystery that I don't understand. Allah will explain it and we, we take on an enormous um, Makam there. It's an enormous Makam. And certainly as we go deeper into our path, the veils become thinner, the veils between um, this so-called life and that so-called life, it's not really a separation, something very, very slight. And um, as it says, you know, Allah has said, they live, they are alive, they live, they rejoice. In, in their beloved so and they rejoice for their companions and they wait it even describes how they wait for us to to come and join them in their delight so we, we there's not much one can the more we go the less we in a sense understand on, on some way we just becomes more and more amazing and mysterious and this is important for all of us to know, you know, for ourselves, we have to keep track. We have to really look at our moments, at everything, our actions, and we can feel, oh, Lord, I'm off the path, or that's okay. But when we really contemplate someone else, they're never off the path. Once you've taken hand, that bond is eternal. And you will return sooner or later uh, to, you know, the person will return to full consciousness of, of their Lord, even though they might have lost it for momentarily, the full consciousness. So uh, we should never think that, you know, someone's off the path or something. It's just that their path leads them in that direction to learn more. So that's how we learn. We learn, in a sense, by leaving that so-called prescription, which, um, you know, at some point we, get, it, it, we leave it anyway, in some form or other. And I don't mean that we leave off our prayers or all of that, but something will come into our life to... Um, throw us off in a way, to become bewildered, because otherwise we're going to think we have it. You know, we know how to do this, we, we're doing this, and we have all these rewards coming, and, and that's not a dervish. 
mind or uh, awareness. Dervish awareness is fully open, fully in the mystery, receiving uh, daily, moment by moment, and um, and not, you know, not sure in that sense, in the little certainty, sure in the big sense. Sahak al yakin. So, alhamdulillah. It is what I find with these um, zikrs, they're so intense, but they stay, you know, but they're at a, such a high spiritual uh, maqam. And we have to, every day in a sense, we have to keep also connecting more concretely to each other. Uh, and I don't mean chatting. I mean, you know, connecting, like sharing. I mean, it doesn't have to be every day but maybe three times a week you call a dervish and you do something. You can do a hundred la la illallahs or uh, even just some fatihas for people if you don't have time. And that's very, very helpful. Uh, and then, so it's like synapses, like neurons firing, you know, keep firing these dervish hearts. We, we have those impulses of light, light electrical or kind of heart impulses, not electrical. And so we keep firing them with each other. And that's helpful in this time where we don't get together bodily. So good, alhamdulillah. So to through the secret heart of our peers of Fatiha, Allah, Yimma, Sanyalam, Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala ali sayyidina muhammad wa sabbi wa sallam bismillahi rahman irahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen rahman irahim maliki al-midin iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in ihdina sarata mustaqim sarata nadina anamta alayhim kaira makdubi alayhim wa donin amin Amen. Alhamdulillah. So may we, may, may we, you know, it's a good night also if you want, still are going to be up to offer the weird of our peer and, you know, for his sake. I mean, he has opened all of this for us. So, inshallah. Ya Hazreti Peer, Hu Nuruddin Jarahi, Amina Taslima, his beautiful mother, Ya Hazreti Peer, Ashki Aziz Effendi, and his beautiful mother Aisha, and Ya Hazreti Peer, Noor Al Anwar, Al Malik Al Jarahi, and his beautiful mother Aisha. Amin. Ya Allah, Hu.